and an incredible image of a firefighter's bravery in the face of danger. A word of caution on this, this video is definitely graphic. It is a California firefighter determined to reach people who were trapped by smoke and heat. He crashes through the roof and is engulfed in flames. William Lajeunesse joined, wow, what, a, what an amazing sight that is. So William, tell us what happened here. Well, well um, it's an amazing that he's even alive, Martha. You know, he's a captain with Fresno Fire, a 25-year veteran. So watch as he will climb out of the roof to ventilate the house. He's using that pole to check for soft spots and tear a hole, and then bang, just like that, he goes through the roof. It collapses. He falls 15 feet and is immediately engulfed in flames. People are screaming, get him out, get him out. Here's some sound. They made a U-turn to the street. I saw a couple firefighters on top of the roof as one fell right in, immediately put into the park. My daughter was screaming. Fellow firefighters desperately tried to get him out. They crashed the roof, or rather the garage door with axes. They tore it off the hinges to get him out onto the driveway. They pulled off his suit. They immediately doused him with water. But for over a minute, he was cooking in the middle of that fire at some 600 degrees. Once they uh, extracted the firefighter out of the garage to remove his clothes, doused him with water, and as they took his uniform off, he was burned from head to toe. So, Martha, you know when you go in your attic or in the garage and you see the studs or the rafters, those are basically two-by-sixes, and it's really covered with just about a half to three-quarter inches of plywood, and that's what he fell through. Martha? Terrible. Terrible. So what's the condition of him now? Miraculously, uh, he is in critical condition with third-degree burns over 30% of his body, and 70% of his body is burned. The fire itself is under investigation, but they don't believe it was arson. Firefighting is an inherently dangerous operation. Um, we routinely step out and we put ourselves in harm's way. Uh, basically, this guy, he is a father, he has a daughter, he has a wife. Uh, they say at this point that he'll be okay, but um, he's going to need a lot of skin grafts on his face and his hands. Martha? Oh, we wish him and his family well. William, thank you very much.